only the third time since Ring Magazine began carrying pound for pound rankings in the 1980s that two unbeaten fighters from the top ten of the pound for pound rankings have gone against each other to overcome Kovalev. Kovalev wants to be sure not to overreach early. Quick right hand lands for Ward. The thing about Kovalev's power is it makes it such that Andre has to walk a tightrope. Stiff there you see him by a jab. Two stiff jab by Kovalev. But you know, Max, sometimes when a guy feels power, hard right hand by Kovalev. Very interesting so far with 30 seconds to go. Ward has forced Kovalev into the... Probably less dangerous inside of it, though, than right in punching range. Kovalev trying to control him with his jab. Yeah, he see the guys exchange jabs, actually, but Kovalev's jabs seem to have a lot more effect uh, on Andre than Andre's jab had on Kovalev. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Stop, stop. He locked Andre up so Andre couldn't punch either. Use it, use it, use it. Left hand lands for Kovalev. And again. Ward shaking his head, but Kovalev is piercing his guard and landing hard shots. Hard right hand for Kovalev. Left jab lands again. Who had to wind up coming back down on points to stop Tommy Hearns. Oh, oh. Down goes Ward on a perfect right hand shot. That's only the second time in Andre Ward's career that he's been knocked down. He's losing it up to that point. Kovalev wants to finish. He's going to go for it right now. And Ward needs to tackle him. Kovalev's accuracy. And precision showing up, and Ward fights him off the left hook at the end of the round. Kovalev threw the right hand. Ward tried to counter on the straight right, but he countered from the right side, which is very dangerous. And Kovalev was able to, able to beat him to the punch. He knew that Ward was going to try to slip the jab and counter, and he just beat him to the punch. And it really was a short right hand, but it did land right on the button. Maybe there's not a long way to go. Ward's got to no, 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 find no, no, a no, way stop, to make stop, it a long stop, way to go. And what I mean by that is he's not allowing Andre to fight him at that distance where everybody else usually allows Andre to fight it. Let's open the microphone that Virgil Hunter is wearing in Ward's corner and see if we can find out what Virgil is trying to say to Ward. Ward feeling it looks like. Yeah. Hunter trying to get Andre Ward not to stand right there in front of Kovalev and show him a steel picture. Should be seeing. And that's why he won the first three rounds. Stop him because he's making Kovalev, but Kovalev's earning it. And it they are very good at slowing the pace down. And Floyd Mayweather is the best at it. Fifth him will be his chin and his boxing skill. Right. Already first faced with adversity is responding with championship medal. I thought that early in the fight, Kovalev would have the edge. But when he gets inside, they seem to be tying up. Smart and smartness and timing with the Andre leading hook. He blocks it with that stiff jab and throws Andre's hook off just a little bit and gave him enough time that the hook didn't land flush. Down on the cards, you have to imagine, having been hurt, knocked down. Good body shot by Ward. With straight punches, especially the jab. Was perfectly content to coast to a boxing win the rest of the way. Good. The punches that are easy to see landing, that's Kovalev. He's exhorting him on, SOG. Trying to regain control with the jab. Could also change everything, Max. We just have yet to see that. Starting to really assert Time. himself in this round. In the last round. Good jab to stop that. A very smart move by Kovalev. That Kovalev. Oh, that was a good right hand by Kovalev. Can do that and really hurt Warren. Two consecutive rounds, and I think he's oh, winning this one. Uh, attack like that. that. You, there's also the psychological impression left by Kovalev. Even a near miss, you're like, well, observers to think that Kovalev is. Well, doing maybe a little better than he's actually doing. He's landing plenty. Good fighter shot by Ward. Another good body shot by Ward. Yes. And another one on the left side. Landing that looping right hand on Andre Well, right there was kind of a straight right when Andre came in, right on the ear. A reaction to it. But the second one they land right here on the ear, 
boom, Andre pulls his hand right up to his ear, right there, like it may have hurt, injured the ear or hurt the eardrum. Back it up, back it up. I don't think he can beat a big guy like Sergey Kovalev. Back it up. You got to take it to him. Not just that Ward moved up, but that it's a good. It's a big punch against a good boxer. Slowed a little bit here in round number seven. Kovalev just looks the bigger and the stronger of the two. He looked the stronger, Max, because there's a good oh. punch. Good, quick jab by Ward. Oh, we got a good jab by Ward. by Ward. And halfway through, he's certainly winning this round. Because that's the signal for Ward to go inside. And getting inside Kovalev's oh. arms. It's harder for Kovalev to win. And there's the tightrope. Ward has to walk all the good work he's done in this round. A jab from Kovalev. You have to be careful about it. Yep, everything. One more shot before the round ends. And gets in a left hand. Ward land a good pump, then a jab. Boom, right down the middle. Call a feint. There again, a good feint, then a boom. Another good jab right down the middle. It's like this works, so let me try it. And then he goes boom with his own straight left hand down the middle. Kovalev is also a thoroughbred, and he's built that early lead. Good hook by Andre. Judges see what he can do. And, and Andre was pushing the issue more. Good jab by Sergey. That's the timing he and, needs to master. And good jab back by Ward. And a right hand that he knifed to the body under and again. For the later part of the fight. It's Andre Ward's kind of fight. Dominated early. Andre Ward has... And at this point, we're coming to a dangerous point, point for Kovalev. Kovalev just landed a good, clean combination. Now Ward comes back with the left hand. Class tells over time. And again, Kovalev's power can change at any time. Kovalev looks right like he's hand. speaking. Now Ward trying to get to the body inside. That they had early in the round. Those, those right hands that are hardly noticeable at times. And see, Andre's punches have gotten harder. On he both landed jabs. Andre's was harder. This is the best place in the fight for Andre. Great straight right hand by Ward. Andre Ward trying to close down the distance on the scorecard. Kovalev comes back with a solid shot. And a hard, hard right hand by Kovalev. What he had to overcome early in this fight, and there's still a long way to go, and somehow win. You are watching greatness. You're watching greatness anyway, Max. You don't that often get boring. to see real greatness. After could create an opportunity for Ward. Good combination by Kovalev. Great combination. Hey! Kovalev and a hard right hand by Ward. Ward has the momentum in the fight now as we come to round number 10. Harold, how do you have it on your call? He's got momentum going for him. He's, he's doing a lot better. You watch him and he gets hit by real good shots and you can't take it away from Kovalev. Six to three, Sergey Kovalev. The last round, I thought Andre Ward won that last round. Andre in the fight because now he's comfortable. He knows how to do things. He knows to... As we go down the stretch. Well, that Ward moment went to Ward. Yep, <laughs> and that one too. And that, and that moment went, went to Kovalev. Kovalev. And, there's... And, and there's another one. And they know the stakes. You heard Virgil Hunter say to Andre Ward, you've got to win the last three rounds. But the punches, the heavy hands are what all the body shots that he's admonished on, uh, on Kovalev. Kovalev. Yeah. Both fighters are focused on winning as many of the exchanges as they can down the stretch of the fight. Hard right hand by Kovalev. Left hook by Ward. They keep trading big shots. Yeah, they do. What a just, what a tremendous fight this is to see it contested on this level with these shifts of momentum. And it's getting better and better. And and only a great fighter can win this fight. Only a great fighter can fight this fight next. A good jab by both fighters. Thing about Kovalev is while you're showboating him like a bolo punch, he's throwing the jab. Hard right hand by Kovalev. I thought Ward rode that back mostly, but it did land. Yeah, Kovalev missed Ward with that right hand. The Letterman card is unofficial, and judges often disagree with him. Ward needs every second, or so it would appear. Kovalev would start to fold. Sergey Kovalev told us yesterday, my number one thought going into the fight is don't lose your mind. Don't get flustered. Don't get frustrated. Keep coming. Right hand is keeping Andre honest. 
Andre really go to that left hook upstairs. Good shot. There it is. Good shot. body shot with the left. He lands the left hook upstairs in. That's always been Andre's money punch is the left hook upstairs. Oh, good shot. Kovalev dead tired now. Three minutes to go. Oh, good jab, Andre. Oh, good hook by Ward. Oh, good hook good by Ward. Hook by Ward. Does Andre Ward believe he needs to risk a knockout to win this fight? That's a terrible risk to take against Kovalev, but he may feel that way. Oh. Ward's power. And he, Ward knows he has to worry about Kovalev. Get. Ward has landed. Good body shot by here. Kovalev. Yeah, they were. I just wonder oh, if Andre Ward shot. is going to look back and think shot. he should have generated more activity down the stretch of the fight. Super fast pace. Oh, good body shot by Kovalev. Oh. Oh, that's low blow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good jab by Kovalev. Uh, Andre Ward's perfect professional career. Get to hear them. I'm just telling y'all, I'm glad to see two guys fans ask for. They give us the best fight that boxing has had in quite some time. One fourteen to one thirteen to the winner by unanimous decision and new unified light heavyweight champion of the world, still undefeated, Andre S O G. Whoa!